John Turner gave a well-paced performance at Farnborough 96. He was limited in power with two Tornado engines instead of the planned Eurojet 200 engines. But Farnborough was about to witness one of the greatest air displays in its 50-year history, from a Sukhoi, the new Su-37. No other jet fighter in the world can do a 360 degree loop virtually in its own length. The Su-37 can, but how's it done? Well, it's partly down to the vectored thrust. Instead of having jet thrusts pointing directly backwards, the pilot can move the nozzles up or down to give the aircraft extra maneuverability. Test pilot Yevgeny Frolov 
thinks that the new fly-by-wire system and the new nozzles make a big difference. Yes, big difference because uh, absolutely new uh, control, absolutely new fly-by-wire. Of course, uh, nozzle control system is new too. With the new nozzles, Froloff can do a Super Cobra, which he can stop at any time and roll out of. Mm, super Cobra, it's a uh, Cobra together with control. But in all position, I can stop this Cobra. I can uh, make a uh, Cobra uh, through 360 degrees. But does the nozzle control have a separate lever? Okay, we have a button on the stick. Oh. Uh, if I not uh, push this button, uh, control is normal. Or if I push this button, I can cross limited angle of attack and G. Uh, when I make a uh, 360 degrees cobra, I push this button and pull stick. So can we expect to see this new nozzle technology on any of the other Sukhois in service? Yes, of course. What? It's the uh, first prototype of plan with uh, nozzle control. Of course, if we, uh, when we will we have uh, good uh, potential of this system, what? we use on all plane Sukhoi. It's a serial engine and only new nozzle control. This same um, engine we can set all Sukhoi plane on Sukhoi 27-2. And perhaps on Eurofighter? Yes, of course, why not? John Turner, test pilot for Eurofighter, doesn't think he needs vector thrust. Vector thrust and a large canard that's placed well forward of the main plane, as this aircraft has, are two ways of solving the same problem, and that's getting maneuverability at supersonic speed. If you have a large canard, and you'll notice that none of the other aircraft here have a canard of the same size, nor indeed of the same moment arm, I move sufficiently far forward from the main plane, as we do. If you have that large canard with a large moment arm, you don't actually need to use the nozzles. During Farnborough Week 1996, the Russians threw down a challenge. Mikhail Simonov said that here at Farnborough we can take on any American pilot and we'd be happy to perform an actual dogfight. Well, certainly under the right circumstances, you'd like to, to have that challenge to, to go up against. Uh, it would be an interesting fight. Needless to say, the challenge didn't take place, and John Turner was not too impressed with the Cobra as a combat maneuver. The big problem that I have, and, and most of the combat pilots that I've spoken to feel the same way, is that they're wonderful effects for an air show, but they don't do much for you in combat. People used to say the same thing about the Harrier, though, didn't they? Wonderful air show aeroplane, they said, but not well, much good when you get it out in the real that's, world. That, that's true as well. And if you look at the Harrier VIF maneuver, which was, when it was first introduced, thought to be that absolutely wonderful. That was a vectoring in forward flight. That's right, yeah. where he uses his nozzles just to, to slow his aircraft down and make it go stationary, effectively, in the air. Well, that, I mean, I've flown in a Phantom against someone doing that. That was horrifying the first time you saw it. The second time, you just shot him out of the sky because you knew where he was going to be for the next two minutes. So, so the, that, it actually makes the combat pilot predictable. And the one thing you don't want to do in a modern combat is to let the enemy know what it is you're going to do next. The, the Cobra maneuver actually is, is not a problem for, for the weapon system that we carry in this aircraft. And indeed, it's not a problem for most weapon systems nowadays. But surely things never stand still for long in modern aviation. Time for a last look at the breathtaking performance of the SU-37. No one can doubt that Pavel Sukhoi's legacy